Well, hello, beautiful souls. It's your girl, Jeanne, coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be about the 10 fragrance houses that I feel have the most variety. You can get the most bang for your buck. So if you guys are interested in seeing what these 10 houses are and my thoughts, then go ahead and just keep on watching. So if you are new to my channel, hello again. My name is Jeanne. Welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so, so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So if you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join the family and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see my videos from moi. Now let's get right into it. I didn't want to take too long with the intro because I wanted to talk to you guys about these scents in particular, well these houses, and for me personally I think that these 10 houses are just so amazing. They're so incredible for having a good variety of fragrances. They don't all smell the same. They're not all the same type of fragrances. And I think that these houses are definitely worth exploring. So my first honorable mention is a niche house and it's M. Mikolet. For me, I absolutely love Emiko Left's fragrances. They have a great variety of scents with them smelling very luxurious, but also the pricing is pretty attainable. It's not anything too crazy. They are a little bit more on the expensive side, but if you get their 30 ml bottles, they're really worth your time. And today my scent of the day is actually Note Vanille Nectar. And I'm gonna talk about that in another video. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a boozy, sweet, very nice scent. It's floral. It has a little bit of a nice feminine touch to it, but it has this boozy touch to it as well which I absolutely love it's super sexy and sensual and it's perfect for fall it just gives that warm you know blanket type of feel with also being sexy but not too sweet which is the key and they also have of course the traditional Note Vini which is actually one of my favorite vanilla fragrances in my collection and of course they have Ylang and Gold they have Ylang and Gold Nectar those are two of my favorite fragrances from their collection period so Note Vini Nectar and the original and also Ylang and Gold and Lingo Nectar are all four of my favorites from the house that I've tried so far and they're definitely worth your time. I really believe that this house is very very special. It's very nice. I love how their bottles are handcrafted. It's just a lot of time and effort put into this brand and I think they should definitely get some more hype because Lingo and Go kind of put them on the map and Note Vini also really you know got my interest going with the house and like I said my scent of the day today is Note Vini Nectar. I'll have it linked down below in the description box as of all the first fragrances that I talk about today and if you want to support my channel baby go ahead and shop those links because they are affiliate links I do get paid commission so yeah just you know disclosing that the next house that I want to talk to you guys about is a little controversial some people don't feel like this house is worth the money and I personally do because of all of the sales that they have it's like you gotta at least get you one that speaks to you and that's House of Siage I absolutely love their cupcakes and their limited edition bottles are just so creative so gorgeous I absolutely love my Wonder Woman 84 and I also love the Minnie Mouse fragrance I've only tested it out I don't have a full bottle in my collection but I'm hoping that that I can get that for my birthday this year. I just really, really enjoy the house in general and I have never received PR from House of Siage and I have a decent collection. Now, I will say that they are pretty expensive if you buy them full price, but if you get them for 50% off, 60% off, I feel like they're very much so worth your money. And for you to get this gorgeous, gorgeous bottle for like 150, 160, 180, I think it's definitely worth it, especially if you get a fragrance that really speaks to you. And I really do enjoy the fragrances. For me personally, my favorite fragrance so far from the house would have to be Wonder Woman 84 and I know that they just released another like batch of them in a new limited edition packaging I have the first launch that they ever came out with and then I bought a backup bottle because I loved it so much I'm like yeah I need to keep this and then now they have a new bottle which is really cute it's very very interesting it gives Wonder Woman vibes for sure but I don't need a third bottle I am interested in like Huffle was it Hufflepuff Harry Potter launch that they had also Minnie Mouse those are the two that are really on my radar from the house but really honestly they have a very very nice range of fragrances with the cupcakes they have a masculine line so if you're a guy and you want to look for something for yourself or if you enjoy more masculine leaning fragrances they have those over there along with the more feminine scents from the cupcake line so very luxurious very gorgeous it gives off bougie vibes but I'm here for it. just seeing the cupcakes on my display in my collection I just love it every time they're so aesthetically pleasing and for the fragrances to be very nice fragrances I'm here for it now <laughs> This brand, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I absolutely love talking about fragrances. And this fragrance house is one of my favorites. Hands down, 
favorites in my collection period and that's the house of bdk bdk oh my gosh they can do no wrong they just came out with a vanilla fragrance that yeah my birthday is in september it's coming home to me i believe this video is going to be up in september so this month <laughs> is going to go down with the fragrance hauls because i have some fragrances that i've been wanting for so long and i'm like itching for a reason to get them so either my birthday or for the holidays i'm gonna get them i was on a no buy for a while and cloud pink actually broke that seal for me but yeah it's been really refreshing to just enjoy what i have but there are fragrances that launched and i'm like i really need those so bdk is a brand that is just oh my gosh from the bottles to how luxurious that the caps feel to how the fragrance atomizer sprays just everything about the brand i'm just here for and i love the story behind it how basically wanted his brand to kind of give him library vibes you know book vibes and that's so creative and with it still being aesthetically pleasing and still having like the stories behind them ah, i just love it i love it so my favorites from the brand would have to be of course passissoire that one is literally like bay for me and I know some people don't like it but I absolutely love it I also love Tabac Rose oh it's gorgeous I love Gris Charnel Extrite I love Gris Charnel the original now Passe Soir Extrite and the new vanilla scent are the two that are on my radar and I need to get them ASAP yeah they need to come to my collection and I also want to give you guys my thoughts on those because you already know I love vanilla I love gourmands and I also love Passessoir. It's just one of the most beautiful grown woman fruity florals, period. Like, period. Just amazing. I can go on and on about this house. I'm going to scale it back. I'm going to chill out. But yeah, love the brand. They have so many fragrances, like so many types of fragrances from, you know, your salty scents to your beachy scents to your aquatic scents. They also have gourmands. They have floral scents. They have fruity scents. They have oud scents they have leather scents it's just it can go on and on like whatever you like i guarantee you bdk has it and that's why i absolutely love the brand the variety is just incredible and i had to put them at the top of the list because like where else can you get that from you know what i'm saying there aren't many brands that really give you variety and then hit the nail on the mark every single time so i do have a dedicated house review on bdk from i think last year maybe maybe two years ago so i'll leave that linked up in the eye in the sky if you guys want to check that out but i did a whole house review i had a discovery set and then of course i had my full bottle and i also did one for house of siage i think i already put that linked up in the eye in the sky but yeah guys such a great house i'm here for it let's get into the next one now this house is one that i think some people might not agree with me with but hear me out hear me out so this is a designer house that i think for what you get right you can do the privé line you can do the traditional line i think you can get a lot of variety with the brand in general and that's armani Giorgio armani has a lot of fragrances they have men's fragrances women's fragrances the private line so they have something a little bit more luxurious they have their traditional scents that are very much so attainable and i I think that fragrances like you know C, C Passione, C Fiore, which unfortunately has been discontinued. On the Privé line, they have blue turquoise, turquoise blue, or something like that. They also have the magenta fragrance. They also have rouge malachite. So you can find a lot of fragrances that can work for you. So they have a lot of variety. You can get your fruity scents. You can get your floral scents. You can get your more gourmand scents. You can get your more smoky scents. You know, you can get something that's a little bit more darker and deeper versus like happy and light and refreshing so i like armani just because not only are they attainable with their traditional line but they also have their luxurious line so if you want to spend a little coin you can do that and i think that armani is kind of known for everything they're not really known for a certain type of style of fragrance if that makes sense so i love it i'm here for it and i think that it's a brand that everyone should have at least one armani fragrance in their collection and if you don't you should try them out and see which ones you like because they do have some great fragrances i'm just saying <laughs> this house right here wow i talk about them so much that i i don't know like 
I just love them. Like the love that I have for this brand is just, it's just unmatched. And some people think that this brand is overrated and I don't, I genuinely do not feel like this brand is overrated. I feel like they have earned their stripes as did all of these fragrances. They all earned their stripes. They all came out with bangers and they have a great variety of scents. And I'm talking about Parfums de Marly. Parfums de Marly. Oh my gosh. If you are a luxury lover, you need at least one maybe two or three Parfums de Marly fragrances in your collection. I did a whole feminine collection review on my channel. The review that I have out is missing Valaya, Oriana, Delina La Rose. I think those are the three launches. I could be wrong, but yes, they're missing those newer launches, but I do have reviews on those other fragrances as well, but I will link my feminine collection review up in the eye in the sky. That video is super duper old, so I think I probably should do a new one, <laughs> but, I absolutely love the brand you guys I have almost every single fragrance in the feminine collection because I love the brand that much I am just obsessed and Delina exclusive was my wedding day scent so that's how you know like I trust the brand that much to make one of their scents my wedding day fragrances it's just Wow, I'm, I'm just so here for the variety. I'm here for everyone finding something for them. If you want something juicy, fun, and flirty, you can do Meliora. If you want something sexy, mysterious, and you know, approachable, you can do Delina Exclusive. If you want something that's a little bit more regal feeling, something that's a little bit more, you know, mature, you can do Athalia. If you love your orange blossom in your fragrances, you can do Oriana or you can do Saffinat. It's endless, right? Of course you have Delina, the original That Girl fragrance. Some people don't like her, but I don't mind her. I'm here for her. You know, she's definitely giving Barbie girl vibes. And I just really love the brand. I love the brand. I love their launches. I'm starting to get in their masculine collection now because they do have a lot of great masculine scents that are more on the gender neutral gender fluid side and there are a few that are really really good like really good for men women it doesn't matter what you are who you are what you identify as like it's great for everybody they're just great smelling fragrances does that make sense so parfums de Marly has great great variety they have something for everybody no matter what you like and that's something i really appreciate about the brand but they also are very very luxe the packaging is luxe the the box that the fragrances come in is luxe. You also have the beautiful bottles. Like when you see the bottles, you know it's Parfums de Marly, whether it's the masculine collection or the feminine. And that's something that I really, really like. They're very recognizable and they're just gorgeous. And I love the stories behind these fragrances as well, especially in the feminine line with them being named after racehorses. Like that's so interesting. Like it's just great. These brands, I'm telling you, they get me with the stories and then with having those great qualities on top of them. Stick a fork in me, I'm done. Now this brand is a brand that <laughs> really, I don't know, it's nostalgic to me, so I just love it. I know some people don't really like it too much, but I do, and it's YSL. I love, love their black opium. A lot of people have thoughts on black opium, but we're gonna leave that for another video. I love the fragrance. I also love Lieb Intense, the traditional Lieb. They also came out with a new Lieb, and I wanna try that out to give you guys my thoughts, but you guys, absolutely gorgeous fragrances. I would say out of all the fragrance houses, this house might have the least variety, but they have a lot of flank so to me that adds the variety to the scents that are already existing so I do think that they have a lot of variety but they don't have as much as some of these other brands that I'm talking about but even still like they're just gorgeous fragrances and I really love how they perform I love how they wear I love the bottles and just how luxe they look for them to be designer fragrances yeah they can be a little bit flashy or gaudy or whatever but I actually really really like them now the black opium bottles I wish that like rectangle square bottle was a little more comfortable to hold but for for me like I said that fragrance in particular is so nostalgic to me it's the first like big girl fragrance that I bought along with another fragrance and I just I just love it I love the brand I love how I just keep going back to it keep repurchasing them because I just love the way that they smell and Lieb Intense has been my jam for the last like three weeks because it's been getting me ready for fall so y'all better believe y'all are gonna see that fragrance in a video coming up soon because yeah she's been that girl for me and she's been hitting like heavy heavy so yeah YSL they be doing their thing they do their thing we're gonna talk about another luxury brand and this brand who at first I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna be completely transparent I did not understand the hype I did not but then when I got the discovery set and I actually started to wear the fragrances I'm like oh my gosh 
This is luxury. Everything about it is luxury. From when you get your bottle, the box it comes in, luxury. When you open the fragrance, feel the bottle, the cap, just everything about it, luxury. Luxury, it's just straight up luxury. No if, ands, or buts about it. Just straight up luxury, straight up bougie vibes, straight up. I got it like that. Like that's what the house screams to me. But not only that, the juice, the juice, the fragrance, the composition, they're all so amazing. And I'm realizing that not every fragrance has to be a screamer. Not every fragrance has to be super beast mode, super heavily projecting, super, super long lasting. There are fragrances that have these intricate and very unique vibes about them, very unique touches about them, and they don't have the best performance, but the experience that you get with these fragrances are unmatched. The actual scent profile of the fragrances are unmatched. There's nothing like it on the market. And I realized that Fragrance Dubois, wow, like they don't have screamer fragrances. They don't have these heavy projecting, overwhelming scents. Some fragrances last longer than others, of course, but I just realized that I just love how their fragrances are just so silky it's like they have this smooth and silky aura about them and they really cling onto your clothes and your hair and they just give you just a, a whole experience like it's just a whole experience i would say like my favorites from the house would have to be oud violet intense oud jaune intense of course minoui ademi but those are my top three from the house i also really enjoy santal complet i love milano i love basically all the fragrances that i have in my collection oud orange intense fragrance dubois does oud very well so if you're new to oud if you want to experience what oud is like like a very high quality oud go to fragrance dubois you're gonna spend some money i'm not gonna lie you're gonna spend some money i can't tell you if they're worth that price or not but for me personally you are paying for every single step of the way you're paying for the packaging you're paying for the bottle you're paying for the actual fragrance inside the perfumery it's just it's gorgeous it's gorgeous and i'm so here for it so here for it fragrance dubois Y'all keep doing what y'all doing because y'all got something going on. So if you are interested in finding a house that's more luxurious and you want to get into more experiences versus like what other people can smell on me or what are compliment getters, I think Fragrance Dubois is a great luxury brand to check out. All these brands are great, but I think Fragrance Dubois is more for you loving the actual art of fragrance, like loving to smell things that you may have not smelled before. Next, we have another designer house that is also another nostalgic brand for me. They have the juice and that's Victor and Roth. Their last launch wasn't my favorite, so that's probably the first time in a while that I've been disappointed with a brand, but I think that they have great variety. They have great scents. They have, of course, Flower Bomb, Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid, which I absolutely love. They have Bon Bon. They have just so many fragrances. They have the Good Fortune, which is a new one. I personally didn't like that launch, but a lot of people did. So for me, I think Victor and Roth is also a really great brand. They are more on the pricier side when it comes to designer, but they have a lot of good variety. So if you love your florals, you can find Flower Bomb. If you love your gourmands, of course you have Bon Bon. But they do their flankers very, very well. They did a lot of flankers for Bon Bon. They did a lot of flankers for Flower Bomb. You can find something that you really, really enjoy. I also have their limited edition bottles that they have. It was like Lavender Illusions and Dancing Roses which Dancing Roses is still one of my favorite rose fragrances. I just really, really love the house in general. And I hope they bring those like magic fragrances back because those were bangers. And I remember like maybe three years ago, two years ago, it was such a big thing to get them because they were discontinuing them and I remember it just being crazy <laughs> it was crazy trying to get those but Victor and Roth is a really really great brand they're very much so attainable you can find them at Ulta you can find them at Sephora of course like Macy's and stuff like that so if you're just not getting into fragrances and you want more of a designer fragrance that's a little bit more attainable that's a little less expensive than some of these like luxurious brands I think Victor and Roth is a great house with a lot of variety and I feel like they have a little less variety now that they don't have the magic line and even still they have a pretty good range next oh my god this brand <laughs> this brand in particular is just killing it killing it with the variety and that's novatus novatus parfums they have 
so many fragrances in their catalog you are bound to find something that you like or very 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 close to being perfect i love ambrosia imperial the collaboration that novices did with ai the great and i also love idola that's the big beer business collaboration that he did with novices i love the key i love so many fragrances and there's one fragrance that i tried out in their discovery kit it's called cherry Privé, baby oh my god it blew my mind like lost cherry what no like i don't even want that fragrance anymore at all i'm kind of over time for it but that's a video for another day but you guys oh my gosh i'm so excited and i'm definitely going to talk to you guys about it i'm going to talk to you guys about all three discovery sets that i have because i pretty much have every single fragrance in the novitas catalog either full bottle or in the discovery set besides the newest launches another thing that i really like about novitas not only are they a brand with a lot of variety but they support the fragrance community they do collaborations with creators all of the time from all different sizes. Like you don't have to have 100,000 subscribers to do a collaboration. Granted, they probably reach out to the people that they want, but oh my gosh, like I just love how they just give back to the community and they really take pride in that. And that's something that I appreciate. It's something that I look at as a content creator but also as a fragrance lover as well i just love the fact that this brand listens to you know their audience and they find people that are relatable to collaborate with and to make dreams come true so i'm prophesying one day hopefully you know one day we can do a little something because i would love to create a fragrance with novitas for you guys and for myself because we would we would create some magic i'm just saying novitas parfums has so many fragrances so many fragrances that are just incredible and i had a plan to do a novitas house review but i think i will have to break that up because there are so many fragrances i wouldn't be able to fit it in one video the video would be like two hours long and i don't know if y'all would be down to watch that but y'all can let me know in the comments <laughs> if y'all would because they have so many fragrances they have everything for everyone and i would say they are probably the most versatile or one of the most versatile fragrance houses in this list just by the vast range of fragrances that they have so if you haven't already go ahead and check out novitas parfums and y'all will find something that you like for sure and last but certainly not least we have maison martin margiela one not only are they accessible but two they have something for everyone they have jazz club by the fireplace tea escape they also have coffee break which is personally my favorite fragrance from the collection period it's coffee break and then it's by the fireplace so mar margiela or maison margiela is a house that is just amazing i feel like not only is it aesthetically pleasing it also has so much variety it's so much variety they're very attainable you can find them at sephora of course they have a lot of great sales on their own website you can get like 30 percent off bottles and that's typically when i go for the bottles when they're like 30 percent off because they're great they're incredible i know that they've discontinued fragrances and i've had some discontinued fragrances that really didn't work out for me but honestly with my collection i just i just love it i love them so much they have springtime in a park they have under the lemon trees and those are more you know fresh citrusy zesty sailing day is a little bit more aquatic so you can find something for you the only thing i would say is that since they're older twilight concentrations some of them don't have the best performance but fresh fragrances in general don't really have the best performance and that's just something like a trade-off if you like those types of scents you just sacrifice a little bit of longevity which there's nothing wrong with that at all and for certain fragrances like lipstick on and by the fireplace and coffee break those are extremely long lasting in my opinion for it to be an eau de toilette concentration i love the brand i love the fragrances that they have and i cannot wait to see what they have in store for these later releases i hope that they come out with another gourmand because their fragrances are so realistic smelling that I think if they did like a gourmand other than coffee break it would be it would be incredible it'll be incredible i would love it and by the fireplace is just oh my gosh it's amazing it's probably one of the most popular fragrances talked about in the fragrance community that but honestly i think they're worth every single penny all right you guys i hope you all enjoyed today's video because i had so much fun making it if you are new to my channel i do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me until the end or whatnot and for today's video i want you guys to leave me the 100 emoji leave me the 100 100 emoji because these fragrance brands are 100 okay absolutely love these fragrance houses and they give so much variety that you're bound to find something that you love i love you guys so so much and i will see you all in the next one